Greetings to another video. Today we're going to look at my bike packing bivy setup. It is very simple. Um, so I'm sort of run through everything that I took with me for like three days away. Um, start off by saying uh, the bike that I took was my Ribble Endurance SL and it's a carbon bike. And the reason that I took this, I've got um, a CGR, which is more of a kind of more of an off-road bike, more of a bike packing bike, but I wanted to kind of see how the endurance would kind of go on a bike packing trip because it's not really designed for that. But actually I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna do a full review of that bike because I've had it seven months now and I get asked all the time to compare it to the CGR, so I'm gonna do that in a separate video. Um in short, it handled it really well, it was really comfy to ride. And yeah, let's get on to the actual bikepacking setup. Here we have got my tail fin aero pack. I'm gonna show this in a bit more detail. Basically it's a carbon frame that attaches to your quick release or your through axle. It's just a brilliant waterproof pack. Just a, that was how I carried the majority of my stuff. We've got this, which is an amazing top tube bag. It's a Topeak large fuel tank I think it's called really really good just for carrying snacks and then at the very very front just here you've got the Apigura front roll bag so I'll show you them all in a little bit more detail so this is the tail fin aero pack it is in honestly it's incredible so this is all waterproof fabric um, and it attaches on this carbon post which then clips onto either your quick release skewer or your through axle um, it's really light, it's really sturdy because one of the things that you get with saddlebags is they can kind of like wiggle around a little bit as you're riding, whereas that is solid but it's super, super light um, and then it attaches onto the seat post there and they are designed to fit on bikes that don't have rack mounts. And then here's Old Faithful, I've had this years, it is a brilliant bag just for carrying snacks for whatever you want, my phone. This is the Apogeo one, that is so handy. You wouldn't think, I just can't believe how handy bungee cords are. I just basically had um, a jacket in there. At one point I had oats, I had broccoli attached at one point. This is everything that I took with me, apart from a couple of clothes, but I'll tell you about those in a minute because they're actually in the wash. So first thing, I took one pair of shoes, which are these Shimano xc 9s which are mountain bike shoes. They are a bit grubby, um, just perfect because they are comfortable to walk in, obviously, when you're in the forest. So they are my favorite um, cycling shoe. This is just my, you can see that. It's basically just my repair kit. So spare, took two spare tubes and like the regular stuff and um, that I would take on any ride. So yeah, just took an extra tube. Camping mug and a spork, a foldable spork. Uh, because our friend Greg took the stove so I hadn't actually got any cooking equipment with me he took his little um like little stove I am going to buy one though because it was incredible there you can see hand um sanitizer and wipes I'm not a big fan of wipes just because I think they're just not very good for the environment but I did have I did find an old pack so I was like I'll just take those with me um as well this I ended up having to buy on the way because I'd packed to take a bobble hat with me. My favorite, it's like the threshold, more is in you want. I absolutely love that hat. Um, and Greg and Richard, they're all like, oh, you're not gonna need a hat, it's gonna be really warm. So I left it and then when we set off, I was like, it is bloody freezing, I'm gonna have to buy a hat. So I just thought if, I'd see, if I see one, I'll get one. And this was in Tesco, it was in the sale, it was like two pounds. It is so toasty. And a good thing about it is because it's got a long kind of, I don't know, because it's long there, I could pull that over my eyes in the morning to kind of, because obviously it's so bright when you're in a bivy. So yeah, it worked as an eye mask as well. Then we've got this, which is, I've not packed it back up very well. This is oh, one of my favorite pieces of kit for doing like, bike packing or just any kind of long ride. It's a Patagonia, um, I don't even know which, I, think it's, I can't even remember what it's actually called, Patagonia jacket, but it's got um, really good insulation. It's vegan insulation, so it's not down. It is, oh my God, it's just so warm. It's really light and really small to pack down, but I absolutely love it. I would recommend anyone doing any kind of overnight stuff getting one of these. I think it's, I'll, I'll, I'll leave a link to which one it is, 
but it is amazing. I absolutely love it. I'm really, it's really thin, but it is so, so warm. And yeah, massive, massive fan of that. Also took <laughs> this, which is the drone. In fact, Richard actually carried this because he had extra room in his panniers. We never even use it. So like, obviously that is an optional extra, but yeah, we didn't use that. This is the bivy that I took. So this is called Helium Bivy. It's really small. I'm gonna put a picture, There's no, you've seen the picture. I've put a picture up of me in this, but it's literally just really small, really light. It's got one pole in it. And yeah, I'll show you the pole. Really simple to put up. That is the pole. And then in that as well, I've got like a, a blow up pillow, which is actually my friend Jay's. He lent it me because I didn't have one. That was really comfortable. I'm glad I took that. Um, better give him that back. So that is the bivy. Uh, the, the camping mat that I took is, it's called Inertia X-Frame Ultra Lightweight Sleeping Pad. This is the full body version, which is also Jay's because I had the short one and there's a fault with the valve. So I was like, the night before, I was just checking everything worked, which you should always do on a bikepacking trip, just check everything is working the night before. And it there was a fault with the valve. So I've sent it back, so I borrowed this one. I actually think the longer version is more comfortable. It's a little bit bigger, but I mean, it's still tiny for a, a camping mat. Really, really comfortable. This thing is so handy to have. This is made by Apigura. And it's like a little musette, a packable one that's waterproof and straps on your back. And the thing that I didn't like about musettes is they always swing around, whereas this one's got an extra like clip fastener to um, fasten it to the front. They did send me this to try out. And honestly, I think it is amazing. So this was really good. So at the end of the day, we would go to the shop, buy all our food and take it back to where we we're gonna camp. And then it was also good for taking rubbish out of the, the where, where wherever we'd slept. And it's so small and just packs down. That is gonna be such a handy little little bag. I think it's about 26 pounds. It's not that expensive. Really, I, and it's really strong. I thought it might tear because it was so light, but really impressed with that. Uh, we'll go for the sleeping bag next. This is called the OMM Mountain Raid 1.6. Can you see that? Mountain Raid 1.6 three season sleeping bag. Again, really small, really light, really warm. Um, that was expensive. I, can't, I bought it a couple of years ago, but it is nice and it is warm. This light <laughs> was three pounds from Aldi because I didn't have a light, a head, headlamp, headlamp, headlight. And I was like, I'm probably gonna need one. So this was a very last minute thing to buy. It's not, it's not that bad actually. It's not the best thing I've ever used, but it, it did the job. Then we've got this, which is the hip lock, um, Z lock combo, which is basically a zip tie that's a lock. Didn't end up having to use this, um, but this is good if you just wanna nip into a supermarket. Um, yeah, so I took that really light as well. A little, Took a little pump. This is the race rocket. However, it's a Topeak one. My friend Greg had one that's got like a little floor pump, which is also made by Topeak. And it's got a gauge on it. It was incredible. You could get easily up to like 100 PSI in it. So I'm gonna be getting one of those. That was really handy to have. Again, this is an optional, little optional one. <laughs> Obviously, if you wanna take any pictures or videos. So this is a Joby Gorilla Pod. Again, optional, it is quite heavy, so that did add quite a bit of bulk. But for me, I wanted to get some nice pictures for you. So have a look to my, have a look on my Instagram if you wanna have a little gander. And then I took, oh, rain jacket. This is the Rafa Gore. I never used it to be fair, it was just, but it's really small and really light. So that was a good one just to chuck in, especially if it gets cold as well. Uh, and then this is one that I pretty much wore all the time. This is this is a wind jacket. I was never really into wind jackets. And I tried this and I was like, this is the Rafa with Outdoor Voices collaboration that they did recently. It is so nice. Um, really good for if it's uh, a little bit windy. So that is pretty much everything I took. I did take other clothes such as just the stuff that I wore. I just took 
um, I took two pairs of bibs, so I wore one and took one extra pair. And then I just wore one jersey, one long sleeve jersey, one fleece base layer, and one pair of leggings, which I just kind of wore around when, I, when we got to the end of the day. And that was pretty much it. And an extra pair of socks. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Let me know if there's anything you think I should take. The only thing that I didn't take that I felt like I should have done was the hat. But next time... Oh, and one other thing that I definitely need to take is... Pointing. Um, mosquito spray. I got bitten so badly. Can you even see me? This is awkward. You've never seen me like this before. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you next video. Bye. <laughs>